Hi everybody and welcome back to the Kids Corner. My name is Brittany Alberto and today we're going to be making butter like they did in the 1900s. Making butter at home is super easy. All you need is a jar, heavy whipping cream, and because you might get a little dirty in this activity, I'm going to put on my apron so I don't get all my clothes dirty. And I'm also going to be taking it really old school and I'm going to be putting on my bonnet. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your jar, make sure that it's easily sealable, and then you're going to take some heavy cream and you're just going to fill it up one third of the way in your jar. And you're going to cover this up. And the next thing you're just going to do is shake it. This is an activity that's really easy to do if you have a friend or a family member with you because shaking it is going to take a lot of your muscle strength. So let's get started. Joining me today is curator Stevie. She's going to be helping me turn this butter. And as you can see, we both have our bonnets on. And we both are wearing gloves to help us not drop our butter. And once you get really tired of shaking, you just pass it to your friend. Oh yeah. The first thing that you're going to get when you shake your butter is whipped cream, like the kind that you put on pies or cake. So we're going to open up our butter and we're going to see if we've gotten to the whipped cream stage. All right. So you can see that it's a little bit creamy but we're going to close this and we're going to keep shaking until we get something solid. Okay, so after a while, you're going to notice that your butter is getting really chunky and it's coming together in your jar. Right now it's separating from all of the water that's in your heavy cream. This happens because all of the fat molecules that are in heavy cream separate every time you shake your jar. So once you feel like you have something really solid in your jar, that means that you've probably gotten to the butter stage. So Miss Stevie, let's look at what we have. As you can see, we have a big chunk that has separated from the fat molecule. Now that I've taken all the excess liquid out of my butter, you can see that I actually have a nice chunk in my jar right here. And you can keep this in the refrigerator and it'll keep up to one week. And you could add things like salt, rosemary, or even honey to give your butter a different flavor. Hey, Miss Brittany, what's the sign language word of the day? Excellent question. The sign language word of the day is butter. So to say butter in sign language, all you need to do is take your hand with your palm up and then you're going to take your two fingers and then go like this, kind of like you're spreading butter on a piece of toast. And this is butter in sign language. Thank you very much for joining us for this episode of The Kids Corner. If you make any butter at home, we would love to know. So make sure to post all of your social media with the hashtag GuildKidsCorner. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time. Bye!